hello everyone welcome back to another session in dentistry and more so today we have a small topic in oral pathology that is zones of enamel and dentine caries so we've been learning dental caries from uh, early uh, years in um, bds curriculum but this is uh, about the zones of dental caries that is how various zones are present in uh, advanced caries in enamel or dentin. So these zones will be visible when there is a presence of uh, light which is transmitted through the lesion. Okay, so let's learn about the various zones of enamel and dentin. So we'll start with uh, zones of dental caries that is enamel caries. So the zone one that is present at the advancing front of the lesion. So this represents the advancing front of the dental caries solution, which is known as translucent zone. Uh, this is uh, very porous, like 10 times more porous than the sound enamel. Okay, so very porous because highly demineralized area, the translucent zone and it is not always present in all the caries lesion sometimes it present sometimes it is not so that is the first zone translucent zone very porous and it is at the advancing front of the caries lesion and the second one is dark zone dark zone is lies adjacent and superficial to translucent zone so it is lies superficial to translucent zone it is usually present and this referred as a positive zone okay so dark zone is also known as positive zone and it is called as dark zone because it does not transmit polarized light that is why it is known as dark zone so this is a second zone first one is translucent and this is dark zone which is due to the demineralization okay so translucent and dark zone whereas the third zone is body of lesion this is the largest portion of the incipient caries which is found between the surface and dark zone and it is the area of greatest demineralization making it more porous okay that is this part which is the body of lesion which is the largest portion it is found between the surface and dark zone and it is the area of greatest demineralization and the last zone is surface zone okay or zone 4 this is this zone is not or least affected by caries and it has great resistance probably due to the greater degree of mineralization and greater fluoride concentration okay so this will be this caries start like this so always the surface layer will not be affected much it will be a v-shaped because it will once we start preparing the cavity, we will get a big cavity inside because there will be surface remineralization and presence of fluoride. Because of that, it is also known as fluoride bombs. Okay, it looks very minor cavity or very smaller cavity, but once we started exploring it, we get a bigger cavity inside. Anyway, fluoride bombs is not associated with, I just said. Uh, because of this surface uh, remineralization and more presence of fluoride concentration the highest fluoride concentration is present on the surface so that is the surface zone which is least affected because the caries enter in various ways but it is affecting morely the deeper parts of the enamel and it is less than 5 percent uh, porous and it is uh, it's radio opaque and it is comparable to adjacent enamel so radio opacity is almost same as a normal enamel because it is least affected by the dental caries okay now let's move on to the various zones of dentinal caries so the zone one starting from towards the pulpal side it is known as normal dentin or zone of fatty degeneration Okay, it is formed by degeneration of the odontoblastic processes. So, otherwise, dentin is normal and protrudes sharp pain on 
stimulation okay it is closer to the pulp so the second zone in dentinal caries is zone of dentinal sclerosis this zone okay so first we have fatty degeneration zone that is zone one towards the pulp and this one the second zone is dentinal sclerotic zone why uh, this name is uh, given because it has sclerosis where the deposition of calcium salts in dentinal tubules takes place okay here the calcium salts will be deposited and the dentin will look like a sclerotic dentin and also damage to odontoblastic zone is also there and uh, but the, there will not be any bacteria in the zone so this zone is capable of remineralization okay so that is the second zone dentinal sclerotic zone whereas the third zone that is zone of decalcification of dentin where further demineralization of intertubular dentin which leads to more softer dentin okay so more softer dentin will be present here because more demineralization happens and zone 4 this is a zone 4 which is known as zone of bacterial invasion this blue one that is zone of bacterial invasion so this zone there will be widening and distortion of the dentinal tubules which are filled with bacteria that is why it's known as zone of bacterial invasion so this part of dentin is not self repairable because of less mineral content and there will be denatured collagen which is irreversible denature happen to the collagen so the repair is not um, possible in this zone it is highly possible in the zone 2 which is dentinal sclerotic zone and this zone should be removed during tooth preparation okay so that is about zone of bacterial invasion which is not self repairable because of denatured collagen and the last zone is zone of decomposed dentin due to acids and enzymes this is the decomposed dentin this is the outermost zone which is consist of decomposed dentin filled with bacteria it must be removed during tooth preparation so once the caries starts from the surface it enters to uh, enamel reaches enamel then the dentin enamel junction then it goes to dentin and it reaches to pulp so this is how we are uh, describing the zones various zones in enamel and dentinal caries so in tooth preparation we should remove zone 5 and zone 4 zone 2 is self repairable zone so that is all about the various zones of enamel and dentin so this is zones in enamel and this is zones in dentin so this happens only after this okay so once the enamel caries reaches dentino enamel junction then only this starts so i just put enamel and dentin separate there is a mnemonic for to memorize the zones that is enamel caries it is translucent translucent zone dark zone body of lesion and surface zone that is t d b s from advanced to surface zone that is strained dentist better salary translucent zone dark zone body of lesion and surface zone so this is the most advancing friend and this is the surface zone which is the outermost layer similarly in dentinal caries the zones uh, mnemonic is dr bds fail so this is actually the reverse order the d is decomposed zone this is the most outermost covering but it is opposite here here it is advancing front and the last letter is the most outermost cover this is reverse so d is decomposed bacterial invasion then uh, decalcification then sclero sclerotic zone and fatty degeneration so dr bds failed okay so this is decomposed bacterial invasion decalcification sclerotic and fatty degeneration so this is just to uh, for the ease of remembering these two mnemonics 
so that is about enamel and dentinal caries or various zones which is reflect all in uh, light okay i'll come up with uh, a new session in oral pathology thank you <laughs>